Tome launched in late 2022. To set itself apart from similar tools, Tome focuses on the generative storytelling format and is a web-based AI presentation tool. To use the app, create an account using your Google account, login, or a specific email address and password. Once you create an account, you are asked to provide your full name and your industry or focus. The initial dashboard provides a left side nav bar to view notifications, recent presentations, personal presentations, which provides some sample themes that you can open or duplicate and edit with your own content, shared presentations, deleted content, and an option to invite teammates. In the lower left corner, you can check how many AI credits you have left and upgrade to a different plan. The free version includes unlimited slide decks and 500 AI credits. The pro version is $8 per person per month when billed annually. It includes unlimited slide decks, unlimited workspaces, and unlimited AI credits for individuals and workspaces. You can export to PDF and it removes the Tome branding, as well as the opportunity to add custom logos and priority support. To obtain an enterprise license, contact Tome directly, and it includes everything in Pro, plus additional white glove support and services. If you've tried Tome, post in the comments your take on this AI app. To create a new presentation, click the Create button in the upper left corner. Enter your prompt, and the more specific you are, the better the output. Select the Create a Presentation option. The slides are generated, and these are called pages in the app. And there will be a title slide, a short outline slide, and then about six content slides. Then choose either the Keep or Retry button. The slide layouts are fairly typical and standard with a left side text box and a right side image. The images are generated by the app, so be aware that AI credits will be used to generate the presentation. For this presentation, about 75 of the 500 AI credits were used. In edit mode, the slides are listed as thumbnails on the left side of the screen, which is very similar to common presentation apps like PowerPoint and Google Slides. To edit a slide, select it in the left sidebar and use the toolbar to the right. You can modify the text, add content like an image, video, or table. You can record narration, or set the theme that will change the background color, font family, and color scheme. To edit the text, select a text box, and then use the pop-up toolbar to modify the style, color, indent, list style, add a link, etc. Use the AI Edit button to rewrite or adjust tone, reduce or expand the text. To modify the image, select it and use the Image button in the toolbar to the right. You can create a new image, upload an image, adjust the size, add a caption, or change the position. To add a new slide, click the plus sign under the slide thumbnails to the left side and choose a layout. Once done editing, you can share to the Slide Deck Lab or copy a link using the button in the upper right hand corner. You can also duplicate, rename, and delete the Slide Deck. The Pro version allows exporting to PDF and adding a logo. Click the red arrow to go into presentation mode. Use the arrows at the bottom left and right corners to navigate. To exit this mode, click the X. Is Tome worth a try? Make sure you post in the comments if you've tried Tome and I'd love to hear what you think about it. With the free basic account, it gives you the flexibility to try it out before committing to a subscription. For an individual or small team, the pro account pricing is quite competitive. For larger teams, other apps in this space do offer a lower subscription. The interface is similar to traditional presentation apps like PowerPoint and Google Slides, which make it easy and intuitive to use. 
Compared to other apps, the slide layout and theme options are limited. And when creating a presentation, there isn't a way to identify how many AI credits will be used. The provided themes do offer the option to modify a presentation without needing to use AI credits, unless you choose to generate images. The themes generated were interesting and reflected the text content. However, for me, they didn't align with my overall style and brand, so I would end up having to change most of them. Tome continues to stand out in the AI space, and it is worth a try. Next, I'm covering presentations.ai, which is a similar AI presentation app.